What's up, evil people? It's your boy, Joshua Martin. And let me be honest, I am not the best vlogger, but I'm going to do my best to show you around what's happening at NMB this year. I'm actually with SLR Magic. I don't know how to say this, but it's been a, an incredible journey up to this point. And so I'm happy to say that I'm actually a partnership. I'm partnering, partnering with SLR Magic. And so they flew me out here to see some of the new products. But I'll explain a little bit more of that once you meet the team. But right now, I'm hungry, and we're all gonna go get something to eat right now. So let's get some breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? So we just finished eating breakfast, and now we're gonna pack up all the gear and all the other stuff and head over to the expedition hall. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. So we just got all the gear from the hotel. We're here at the booth right now. Man, it, it took a journey. This is all the stuff, all the new lenses, all new prototypes that we're gonna showcase. I say we because I'm gonna be doing this as well with them, so uh, yeah. Good. The booth is ready for tomorrow. And we eat. I'm gonna go back to the hotel. And I actually need to go edit. I told y'all I'm not that great at vlogging. This entire day, I didn't even explain what I said I was going to explain in the beginning of the vlog. So for some time now, SLR Magic and I have been going back and forth. And um, actually, my friend Cody was the one who kind of initiated all of this. So I'm a part of the brand ambassador program. Yeah, so that was day one of my time at NAB. And honestly, I didn't do a ton of ton of vlogging because I was just so kind of enwrapped with talking with everyone that was coming to the booth. My time, my focus was actually just getting to know, you know, SLR Magic as a company and as a partnership. Because um, like I mentioned, I, I am a brand ambassador for SLR Magic. Um, and I've used their products before this even happened. Like I bought, and you guys know, I already had a Anomorphot two times 50 adapter. I had the 25, I had um, some other stuff from them as well. And it was just perfect how things kind of aligned and they were willing to partner up and allow me to create content for myself, more content for myself and also content for them. So I'm looking, you know, pretty, pretty much forward to that. But let, yeah, let me just actually just talk about NAB as a whole, man. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I was just overwhelmed. I was almost starstruck because some of the biggest directors from YouTube and just like out there in the world, like people that I've looked up to up until now and still look up to were there and I had a chance to talk with them. Funny story, right? I got a chance to do like a small interview with Ryan and Philip Bloom. And I'll, I'll give you like a little snippet here about what I asked them. And, and really, really, I asked them, um, what do they think about SLR Magic? They've been using their stuff um, from the company. And um, I think it'll be kind of interesting to see what their thoughts about what they're using. Ryan has been doing his latest film. He's been using the Anamorphix PL mounts, the 133s for his film, Ballistic. It looks fantastic. I don't know if I can show... Yeah, I'm not gonna show the trailer for it because it's not even out yet. 
but um, I can show what the panel looks like. So this is probably the only time I had to get away from the booth today, but SLR Magic is getting one of their, uh, not their features, but Ryan Conley from, from Film Riot, he is featuring his film Ballistic at the booth here behind me, and so they're going to uh, show that film and they were shot on the <laughs> anamorphic lenses. Um, wow, can't talk. They were filmed on SLR Magic's anamorphic lenses, so that was pretty cool to see. So I'm going to show you guys what they're doing. Qualities, qualities such Because you're putting your heart in every one of those projects. All right, so. Yeah. Whatever? Yeah, whatever. I've been using the uh, SLR Magic anamorphic lenses for a little while now, a lot for our show Film Riot, uh, for smaller things, but recently uh, we did our biggest project ever with Ballistic, and we used the lenses for that exclusively, and uh, we had a mixture of PL mount lens uh, cameras and EF mount uh, cameras, and it was really great to be able to pop between those things, PL when we had to, and then pop on the EF converters and jump to that when we had to, and we just really love the look of them. It, it has a lot of character, it has uh, the that classic sort of look that we all recognize that cinematic look that we all recognize, which is something I really gravitate to. Uh, and having that at a lower cost like these are, but still maintaining that quality has been uh, an extreme uh, upside for us. So we used it for that and we're really happy and we'll be releasing it in June so you'll be able to see what that looks like. And then the biggest person I was really excited to meet and I didn't know how to handle was Philip Bloom. Philip Bloom has been, it's been someone I've been watching for the last five years. And um, I love his style, love his way of storytelling. And he came out of booth a couple of times and I was there and I was doing my best not to fanboy. I was trying to keep it cool, you know, keep it chill. Um, and again, I, I, I interviewed him. And <laughs> so as I was as I was filming, I was filming on my GH5 with a with an eight mil on it, with a ten mil on it. And I don't know what I was doing, but I was recording it, and then I was recording with one hand, and then I just got lazy and I accidentally kind of like bumped the footage. And I'm like, oh no! In my mind, while recording, he's still talking. I didn't stop him. I should have stopped him, but I didn't stop him. And uh, I'll just I'll just let it roll. I've been using SLR Magic lenses since 2010 with uh, a toy lens and and then from then on it was the more cinematic lenses the really nice mechanical ones and yeah I think pretty much since then I've been using them a lot in fact um, my favorite lens is the 35mm uh, 1.2 yeah, full frame e mount and I use this all the time it lives on my Sony a7 cameras I have the full range of the full frame SLR magic lenses and I just love them so much and people always ask them I think when I post stuff about them people get they say what is that what lens is that I think it's got to the point now where people just know that's the lens that I'm using it's just got this beautiful vintage feel but with the nice modern cinema mechanics I just love them and you know, I'm using their anamorphic lenses as well now it just seems they've got the whole range of lenses and they're just a joy to use I had a chance to be in the same spaces as Philip Boone and Ryan Conley, and I kind of butchered that one small video, but it was funny. I I didn't tell him. I should have told him. Philip, you ever see this? Yeah, I was nervous. I think the most exciting things for me was to see the Ronin S, the new gimbal that's coming out, as well as the Ninja of V or Ninja 5, if you want to put that. Man, that's going to be amazing. Um, Cause I don't have an Atmos anymore, uh, Atmos anymore because you know that got stolen. So it would be nice to have a much smaller, but still have all the features as the bigger brother. That would be clutch. But I mean, honestly, guys, like this was a extreme blessing um, because one, I never thought I'd be able to get out to NAB because it's so expensive. Um, and so I thank you, I thank the company for flying out, uh, flying me out there, SR Magic, and um. This is just the start of something awesome. Now, I, I'm going to say this moving forward. None of the stuff, when I talk about the lenses and whatnot, it's, I'm not getting paid by them. Like, it's all because I actually like the lenses. A lot of people can say what they want about the lenses. Yeah, they have their quirks, they have the characters, but I mean, that's what filmmaking is about. Some people want a super clean look. Some people want a warmer, you know, a little bit more softer look. Like, it depends what you're going for. And, and I'm exploring all types of different looks when it comes to lenses. 
like I said, there's tons. It's, it's cool to see all the new gear coming out, but like I met up, I met up with a couple people that I know, my, my friend Brian Fellows, Peter, um, you know, those guys are telling me like, you know, you just want to network. That's that's the key, that's the main thing of being out there in AD, in AB. It's networking because sure you can see the gear but like the hype goes out goes away the next day you got to be there to be willing and ready to talk to people hand out your business card connect with people i connect with so many different types of people um and i think that's so key so wherever you go not just nab but whatever you go make sure you like, keep that mentality of wanting to connect with people um and uh make sure to like subscribe and comment and i'm gonna do a better job of vlogging i know it's important and I'm trying to make I'm going to make the time to do so. So I hope you guys will follow me on that journey. But until then, we'll talk later. Deuces. Hey everybody, this is Andrew from SLR Magic. He's helped me a ton and I appreciate you doing everything you did. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you didn't expect the video, did you? Nope, I thought it was a photo. You told me I thought it was a photo.